Do you spend a lot of time in a terminal or a text editor? If so, picking the right font for your terminal or text editor is a critical decision. Yet too many people don't really take the time to make a sensible decision in this matter. But picking a bad font is really going to hinder your ability to get work done. For example, a bad font is going to have characters that are too similar to each other, such as the zero and the capital O. If they look exactly the same, then this can cause you sometimes to make mistakes, critical mistakes. And the most important concern, especially when picking a font for your terminal or text editor, should be readability. Some fonts may look good when you see them in screenshots over there on the Unix porn subreddit, but in real life, many of those fancy fonts cause serious strain on your eyes. So today I'm going to discuss 10 monospace terminal fonts that I think are great. All the fonts that I discuss are free as well, and by free I mean free as in cost, and also free as in their license under free licenses. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just very briefly each of these 10 fonts in a terminal, and I'm going to show you these at three different font sizes. I'm going to do 14 point font, which is kind of a normal standard uh, font size for 1920 by 1080, my monitor resolutions here. But then I'm going to show you a very small font size, 11 point font, you know, pretty small. And that's where a lot of these fonts really start to break down if they're unreadable. It's the small sizes. And then I'll also blow it up to 24 point font, which is huge. And I will show you each font in two different documents. One is just some text, just some standard, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, that sort of thing. But then I'll also open up a, a proper program or script. I'm, I'll open up my bash RC. That way you guys get to see how the font looks in an actual program inside Vim or Kakoon or Emacs, you know, a text editor. Uh, and I also want to show you the italics if the font does have italics. And the first font I want to show you is Inconsolata. Inconsolata is a free font, free as in it's free as in freedom. It's licensed under a SIL open font license, which most of the fonts I discussed today will be licensed under that license. If they're not licensed under that license, it's usually some other free license, such as the MIT license. Looking at Inconsolata at a kind of standard point size, this is 14 point font, readability. It looks good. I got to say, for, for my old eyes, you know, I'm in my 40s and, you know, I don't have the greatest vision. It's not horrible. But this 14 point font, everything looks clean. Like I can make out each and every word and letter. Nothing is blurry. Nothing really makes me strain. You know, no eye strain. Like I really got to squint to make out anything. This looks good to me. Now, we should really compare the zero and the capital O because that is the characters that typically really cause some, some problems in some fonts, but not in Inconsolata. The zero is very distinguishable from the capital O because it has that diagonal slash. The one and the lowercase l, though, I think could have a little more contrast. They are a little too similar, maybe, for some people's taste. The lowercase i and the lowercase l look okay. They're, they're not really that confusing. Q and G look nothing alike in Inconsolata. If you want to see 14-point font Inconsolata in a Bash RC, this is how it looks in the Bash RC. Now, comments in Bash are typically in italics. There is no italics in Inconsolata. It doesn't have italics. Now, that doesn't mean you couldn't use Inconsolata in conjunction with another italics font because in a terminal emulator such as Alacrity, I'm using Alacrity by the way, the Alacrity terminal emulator actually allows me to set a regular font, a bold font, italics font, and a bold italics font, all separate fonts. So I could still use Inconsolata and then just specify, hey, when you need italics, use this other font. Inconsolata at 11 point font. Now this is much too small for most people. You know, on a 1920 by 1080 screen resolution, most people would not be comfortable with such a small font. I wouldn't be comfortable with it, but I got to say, even at this extremely small font, it's it's not unreadable. I can read this. Now I'm actually really impressed with Inconsolata's readability. It's really fantastic. Again, we'll look at the Bash RC. Yeah, everything looks good. I would never use such a small font in real life. Let's blow it up to 24 point font though. This is Inconsolata at 24 point font. And of course at bigger sizes, you know, readability really shouldn't be an issue with any font. And that's the case here with Inconsolata. The second font I want to discuss is Sauce Code Pro. Sauce Code Pro, it's a open type font and it's really designed to be used in UI type environments, so things like terminals and text editors. 
You will notice where Inconsolata was a bit more condensed as far as the width. Sauce Code Pro is a little fatter. Now, for some people, that may aid in readability. It's actually a very readable font. Uh, just taking a quick look at this sample here. You can see that the zero and the capital O, uh, they're distinguished because the zero does have that dot in the center. I wish it was a little more distinguishable because I think especially when we get into smaller font sizes. I don't know if I would see that zero. Mm. The one and the lowercase l in Sauce Code Pro are nothing alike. I really like that. I and L also very distinguishable. Q and G look nothing alike. If you guys want to see the bash RC, Sauce Code Pro has good italics. There's the comments there in the italics. A very readable font at you know this kind of standard 14 point font size. If we bump it down to 11 point font size, a smaller font size, uh, still pretty readable. I don't know if, if it's as readable as Inconsolata was at this size. Uh, for me, it's a little blurry, but again, I don't have the best vision. Uh, the zero and the O, I can still make out that that's a zero because it has the, uh, the dot in the center. So all in all, uh, not bad at that uh, really small point size. Let's bump it up to 24 point and 24 point font, of course looks outstanding. Yeah. Very sexy font actually, Sauce Code Pro. The next font is Code New Roman. Code New Roman is a monospaced font that was inspired by some other fonts, mainly Monaco and Bitstream Vera Sans Mono, but neither one of those fonts are free fonts <laughs> in the sense of freedom. So Code New Roman is, is kind of inspired by those proprietary fonts and it looks great. This is a 14 point font and readability looks fantastic. It's a very very distinguishable font when you see it, as it really kind of stands out. And let's take a look at the Bash RC. Code New Roman has uh, italics, so the italics look good. Are the italics readable? I would say I, I, the italics are fine, but just noticing that italics K, that is a very strange K, the fancy K. That's the one thing about this font I might would have an issue with is that K and maybe some of the other characters are a little too fancy. But it does look like it's a very clean font. It looks very anti-aliased, meaning there's no kind of jagginess going on, right? It's just got very clean, rounded edges to everything. And this is Code New Roman at 11-point font. At 11-point font, it's still very readable, even to my eyes. The zero and the capital O are very distinguishable. They look nothing alike. Same thing with the numeral one and the lowercase l. They look nothing alike. For readability, I think this is just a fantastic font. And then blown up to 24 point font, it's very attractive font. On a scale of 1 to 10, as far as attractiveness, this thing gets a 12. And this is one of the more popular mono-spaced fonts going right now. This is Roboto Mono. This is 14 point font here, and it, it, it's a sexy font, very readable. Very distinguishable, nothing really looks that similar. The numeral one and the L, again, for me, I, I would prefer they not look quite so similar. Looking at the Bash RC, we do have italics here in Roboto Mono, and it's nice, readable italics. Let's scale it down to 11 point font, still looks readable to me, even at a smaller font size. Same thing with the Bash RC, I would have no problem reading this document. And Roboto Mono at 24 point font. Yeah, great font. The next font I want to show you is Hack. Hack is a really cool font. I sometimes use Hack in some of my dot files and configs. If you guys go to my GitLab, uh, certain things I have Hack in there, especially things I share like my DWM build and ST build, I typically throw Hack in there as a dependency for that. And the reason I do that is because Hack being a free and open source font, Hack is in the standard Arch repositories, so that's why I use a lot of Hack in my dot files. Now Hack is clean and very readable. I will say this is a little less readable than all the other fonts <laughs> that I've discussed before. I'm not gonna say it's blurry or anything. At 14 point font, it looks fine. At 11 point font, I, I, I think I'm going to struggle with it a little bit. I also think the zero and the capital O could be a little more distinguishable. They have a little something going on inside the numeral zero, but it, it is a smaller font. I'm not, or a smaller point size. I don't know if I could distinguish that. Also the lowercase I and the lowercase L are way too similar. I think that would cause some people some problems. Looking at the bash RC, the bash RC looks good. You see hack has a really nice italics. 
If I bump it down to 11 point font, I can still read it pretty fine. It's it, again, it just in for my eyes, I find it a little less readable than the other fonts I've discussed, but no, but not bad. There's the Bash RC at 11 point font. And here is Hack at 24 point font. Of course, everything kind of looks good at this font size. Yeah. And this is JetBrains Mono. JetBrains, for those of you not familiar with it, is, is a software company. JetBrains, they make a, a bunch of programming software, especially IDEs, so they've created their own mono-spaced font, you know, to go along with their programs. And JetBrains Mono is a very nice font, very clean, very readable. It's got some nice anti-aliasing going on. I mean, it, it's, it's clean. The zero and the O, the capital O, uh, it has a dot. Again, it's almost the same shape, though. I wish one of them was a little wider. You see, they made the zero and the O the same character, except for just the dot in the center. I think they could distinguish that a little more. One and L don't look anything alike. And lowercase i and lowercase l, again, very distinguishable. We take a look at the bash RC. We do have the italics here. The italics is very nice in JetBrains Mono. Very readable italics. We scale it down to 11 point font. A readability maybe suffers just a bit, but it's still pretty readable. The O and the zero become more of a problem as we get smaller. And the Bash RC at 11 point font. And JetBrains Mono at 24 point font looks really good. Bash RC. Yeah, JetBrains Mono. Sexy font. Beautiful font. And the next font I want to discuss is Ubuntu Mono. <laughs> And Ubuntu Mono is fantastic. Ubuntu Mono is probably the mono space font I've used the most over the years. It's because it's always installed pretty much on Ubuntu or any Ubuntu based system. So if Ubuntu Mono is there, it's such a good font. I just typically use it. And even on non Ubuntu based distributions, because it's free and open source, Ubuntu Mono is in everybody's repos. Actually, the entire Ubuntu font family. They do have a serif font and a sans serif font. And when it comes to readability, Ubuntu Mono really kind of hits it out of the park. I, the zero and the capital O are very distinguishable because the capital O is a little fatter. I don't, you guys may not can tell at this font size when I blow it up here, here in a minute, you can tell the difference. The one and the L don't look anything alike. If I had one critique, the lowercase I and the lowercase L could be a little more distinguishable. We take a look at the Bash RC. You see Ubuntu Mono has very nice italics, very readable, very clean. Scaling it down to 11 point font, still very readable. Ubuntu Mono, even at a, some tiny sizes, can still be very distinguishable and readable. This is the Bash RC at 11 point. And Ubuntu Mono at 24 point font. The next font I want to show you is Monifer. It is easily the most unique font of the, the bunch I'm showing you today. For readability, I will say readability kind of suffers because it is much more fancy. And now at larger font sizes, it, it's great, but smaller font sizes, it becomes quite unreadable. At 14 point font here, doesn't look too bad. I will say very distinguishable, the zero and the O because the zero is actually quite a bit shorter. It's more a squat kind of character. One and L look nothing alike. I and L look nothing alike. We go to the Bash RC. Monifer has a nice italics as well. Now, pretty clean at 14 point font. Let's see how it suffers at 11 points. And Monifer at 11 point, I, I gotta admit, it actually is still pretty readable. <laughs> I actually thought it would be a lot worse, but yeah, I, I have no problem reading this. There's the Bash RC. I, I personally wouldn't use such a fancy font because I, it's not as readable as anything else I've shown you. I do think this is the most unreadable font in the list, but it's not bad. And Monifer at 24 point font looks just absolutely gorgeous. Now for an oldie, but a goodie, Terminus. And in particular, what I'm using is a Terminus spelled T-E-R-M-I-N-E-S-S, -S, but the regular Terminus with U-S at the end of the name, they're very similar. This one has been hacked because it's part of the nerd font collection because it's been hacked for power line glyphs or whatever, but it's basically the standard Terminus font. It's this blocky font that's very distinguishable. You guys have seen Terminus a million times. If you've ever looked, especially at screenshots, screenshots of tiling window managers and terminals and text editors, especially you guys that hang out on something like r slash Unix porn, you see Terminus everywhere. 
Now, is it readable? I will say it suffers a little bit in the readability department because all the blocky letters, they're all a little too similar in style. The zero and the O are very distinguishable, but one and L are way too close. They're almost the same character. I and L could also become a problem, especially at smaller font sizes. Q and G are a little similar. I mean, G, of course, has the, the curve at the bottom, but other than that, they're almost the same character as well. I wish they were a little bit more distinguishable. And looking at the Bash RC at 14-point font, Terminus does have an italics. I will say the italics is not that great because of the blocky characters. When you start slanting them, I think it does suffer a little bit in the readability department as well. When we scale it down to 11 point font, yeah, it starts to, to suffer a little bit. I would struggle. I would have to strain my eyes a little bit to read some of this. If we got any smaller, it would, it would become unreadable, really. And the Bash RC here at 11 point font and Terminus at 24 point font. And the last font I want to show you today is Mononoke. Mononoke has really been my preferred terminal and text editor font really for oh, uh, several months now, maybe close to a year. I really like Mononoke. It's very clean. It's uh, very distinguishable as far as the letters. You know, they're not similar. It's similar in some aspects to Ubuntu Mono, but maybe a little more stylized than Ubuntu Mono. But the zero and the O are nothing alike. You see the zero is actually quite a bit fatter in width than the zero. One and L are very distinguishable. I and L are also very distinguishable. Yeah, it's really great for readability. We take a look at the Bash RC at 14 point font here in Mononoke. The italics for Mononoke, yeah, very clean, very sexy. When we scale it down to 11 point font, readability really doesn't suffer. Uh, it's still very readable to my old and tired eyes. I, I have no problems reading it, even at this small font size. The Bash RC at 11 point font size, I have no problem reading this document. And Mononoke at 24 point font, yeah, just a fantastic font. So that was just a very brief look at 10 popular fonts that are out there. They're all free. Most of them will be in your Linux distributions repositories. If you guys use Arch Linux, I can tell you all 10 fonts that I just showed you are in the Arch repositories. I, I think if you install the complete nerd font package, actually all 10 of those may be in there. I actually didn't check. Uh, when I installed the nerd font package, you know, years ago, I haven't reinstalled it in a while. Uh, some of these fonts weren't part of it. I think most of them now are part of the complete nerd font package. But even if you just want the individual fonts, I know you can individually install Hack and JetBrains and Inconsolata and all that from the standard Arch repos. You don't have to go to the AUR for that stuff. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of the show. I need to thank Michael, Mitchell, Gabe, Haplo, Nate, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, LibreQuest, Omri, Paul, Rob, Sean, and Willie. They are the producers of the show. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen, all these fine ladies and gentlemen. They help support my work over on Patreon because this show is sponsored by you guys, the community. You'd like to support the channel? Consider doing so. You'll find DistroTube over on Patreon. Alright guys, peace.